Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sarah. When I tell you I have been dying to do this office siren look, I feel like this is the look of the fall winter. Miss Kimberly did a Skims campaign that's very heavy on the office aesthetic. So many celebrities are spotted wearing these glasses and I'm just eating it up. I also want to give a shout out to this creator. I think her handle is asias.jpeg. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but they explain this trend really well. So make sure to go check out their TikTok. It's kind of a dark, mysterious office girl. And I feel like when you think about the 90s, 2000 aesthetic, I feel like we always jump to the 90s supermodel or the Paris Hilton look but what were people wearing on a day-to-day -day basis and I feel like the office siren encapsulates the 2000s office girl but more cunt can you say cunt can you say cunt on YouTube how could you not say cunt like that's cunt one of my favorite movies Devil Wears Prada I feel like encapsulates this very well like Giselle in Devil Wears Prada is the office siren. I actually love this aesthetic so much that I did an entire campaign inspired by this aesthetic for Sachi Beauty. So if you want to do this look with me, just keep watching. Stop. Before we start with the makeup, the glass is obviously a really big part of this trend. I think it's also because it's right before the era of LASIK. So everybody has the most cunt Mew Mew glasses when they go in the office. And these are my favorite glasses right now. They are vintage Pradas that I got from eBay. And y'all might be thinking, who has Prada money in this economy? But you can actually find a lot of super cute vintage Miu Miu Prada glasses on eBay that are pretty affordable. I got mine for $30 and here are a couple other ones that I found if you want to get the glasses to complete the look. Just wanted to put that out there in case you guys are looking. I got you. Okay, to start off, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Nude Glow. I don't know why I have to read this every time, like I don't use this every single day. I usually blend this with my beauty blender, but lately I've been using my fingers to blend my face makeup and I love how it looks. Something about the warmth of your fingers blending it into your skin and your pores, it just makes everything look so seamless and blended and just like you're applying moisturizer. Okay, now for concealer, I'm not gonna apply too, too much, just a couple dots here just to brighten my under eyes and cover up whatever this is now I usually don't apply too too much concealer on top of my eyelid but for this look I want to make sure there is a light layer of concealer so when I go ahead and apply eyeshadow it's perfect now unlike most of the makeup looks I do this is actually not very blush heavy it's actually gonna be much heavier on the bronzing and contour and I'm using the Fenty matchsticks in the shade amber because it's a really nice cool toned contour and I'm just blending this in with my Sigma brush I think this is a Sigma brush I don't know there are some of these brushes when people ask me what brushes I use I've been using them for five six years every trace of a logo is rubbed off i don't even know what i'm using but i'm pretty sure this is a sigma blush brush also one thing i've noticed is people tend to use a really big brush for things like contour and bronzing which i get for like a wash of color but when you're doing contour like this a smaller brush is really what you want to use look at that oh my forehead looks so good <laughs> My forehead never looks this small. Make sure it's really blended. And then the contour is just gonna be placed right here and I'm gonna blend it upwards. And I'm not trying to carve a new cheekbone, I'm just kind of adding dimension to my face, especially when you look at it from the front view. And if you think you went a little too heavy, you can always blend it out with your beauty blender. I'm gonna add a little bit just on the outer corner of my eye as well just to add a little bit of dimension before I start putting on eyeshadow a little bit on the nose beautiful now I'm just gonna set everything now I'm not looking for a super super matte base I think the ultra matte base is more of a late 2000s early 2010s like the reality tv show era the early 2000s is more like a satiny type of skin finish not too glowy not too matte so I'm setting my skin but it's not ultra ultra matte just where I need it to be now you already know the brows are gonna be ultra ultra thin if you haven't noticed I have been sporting the thin brows more in general but if you want an ultra ultra thin brow I highly recommend using a brow gel and brushing horizontally like you know how you usually brush up don't brush up just brush horizontal so the hairs are laid into a thin line like look how much thinner my brows already look while i wait for my brows to dry i'm just gonna do my eyeshadow with the ColourPop stone cold fox palette this is such a good palette and it's super affordable too i'm gonna use the shade u rock which is a light gray and just sweep this 
all over the lid. If you can't tell, this is definitely more of a cool toned look. And I'm just blending this into the little contour we had that we placed there earlier. And then I'm using the shade Bold Type just in the outer corners like this. Next, I'm using the shade Lux, which is just a highlighting shade. I feel like this is the era when people discovered brow bone highlight. So I'm gonna go a little heavy handed with the brow bone. I'm also putting a bit on the inner corner. And one trick that I discovered on TikTok is pulling the inner corner highlight down all the way to the nose to kind of help snatch the nose contour like that. I didn't want to do too, too much on the eyeshadow because I feel like it wasn't as common to have huge eyeshadow palettes back then. So I want to keep the eyes very simple. For eyeliner, I'm using the Heroin Make Super Waterproof Prime Liquid Eyeliner. This one. The one that I always use. And I'm just gonna draw a thin line from the inner corner all the way out. So this is the wing I want to do. Not super upturned, but also not super long. And then for my bottom lash line, I'm gonna use the Deja Vu Eyeliner to just connect this to the lower lash line. I'm also highlighting my upper lash line with this. And as the last step, I'm gonna use the shade Rock Bottom. Just a black eyeshadow to smudge out the upper eyeliner. I feel like the eyeshadow just helps soften the eyeliner. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna use the Cleo Kill Lash. I'm just going to add a little bit more eyeliner on the inner corner. Okay, yeah, much better. Now back to the brows. I'm just going to draw a very thin line following the natural arch of my brow. The thin brow really ties it together. Every single day I'm fighting the urge to pluck my eyebrows this thin. Just gonna add another coat of mascara. For the lips, I'll be using the Sachi Beauty Lip Liner Stain in the shade Hazel, which is one of the two new shades that we came out with. It's a little bit darker than the original three, and the shade Hazel is just a rich, warm brown. I just overlined a little bit, not too much. And while I wait for this to dry, I'm just gonna put on the Dior Rouge Blush in the shade 431, which I think is perfect for this look. I think an iteration of this is actually one of the first blushes I've ever used. I found it in my mom's makeup collection and she hated me. I went through her makeup bag all the time. Just gonna apply a little bit right here on the top of the cheeks. I know I said lighter on the blush, but if you're gonna use a blush for a look like this, I would recommend using something that's a little bit warmer. I know this is supposed to be a cool toned look, but for the blush, I would recommend actually using something a little bit warmer because that will help blend it into the contour a little bit better. Almost like you're not actually wearing blush, it's just a contour that's a little bit too warm. You know what I mean? And then to finish the base, I'm just gonna apply some of this brightening powder. I feel like this is what elevates my base makeup the most. Just that finishing touch to brighten any areas that you need to brighten. Under the eyes, around the nose. Ugh, stunning. This, ugh, I love this powder. Come on, dry, 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 dry. It's time. I'm just gonna peel this off. I love this color for fall, it's so pretty. And I can't do this look without using the Clinique Black Honey Lip Gloss. Oh my God, I love this lip combo. This actually looks so good. And last but not least, and this is the finished look. If you're really going for it and you want the entire office siren experience, I would highly recommend the Dior Poison Girl perfume. Not only is this one of my favorite perfumes of all time, but it is this look encapsulated into a scent. 